in this video, we are going to use the product to sum identities to rewrite trigonometric expressions. I have already proved the product to sum identities in a previous video, so be sure to check that out. In our example, we have cosine of x times sine of 3x, and we want to rewrite this trigonometric expression using the product to sum identities. So let us recall one of our product to sum identity. We know that cosine of A times sine of B is equal to one half times sine of A plus B minus sine of A minus B. So if we let x be equivalent to our A and 3x be equivalent to our B, we can rewrite this trigonometric expression as 1 half times sine of x plus 3x minus sine of x minus 3x. So this is equal to 1 half times sine of 4x minus sine of negative 2x. And by the odd identity, we know that I can simply take the negative sign inside of the function and simply pull it out. So this is equal to 1 half times sine of 4x plus sine of 2x. And this is as far as you can go. You could distribute the one half across, but I will leave it just like this. Either way is correct. Notice that we started with a product of cosine and sine, and now we have a sum of cosine and sine. The purpose of rewriting a product of cosine and sine as a sum of cosine and sine is because in calculus, if you are asked to evaluate the integral of a product of cosine and sine, one of the ways you can do so is by rewriting the product of cosine and sine as a sum of cosine and sine. However, in a trigonometry course, all you need to know is how to rewrite a product of cosine and sine as a sum of cosine and sine. And that is all for rewriting trigonometric expressions using the product to sum identities. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.